Hey, it's Kip K, and I'm back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. I'll be the first to admit it, I love first-person shooter games, and I love the vibration function on these PS3 controllers, or really any video game console controller for that matter. It adds another dimension by activating that sense of touch. Well, I wish back in the old days when I played a lot of PC games that I had that vibration function in my mouse. Well, there's a great project in Make Magazine that will allow you to do just that. It adds a vibration function to pretty much any mouse that you might have. And it's called the Rumble Mouse. And we're going to build it on today's weekend project. The Rumble Mouse project can be found in Make Volume 6, and it's by Greg Lipscomb. In addition to an optical mouse, you'll need a small perf board, a transistor, potentiometer, a small pager motor, a diode, and a resistor. The first thing you'll need to do is take your mouse apart, so remove all the screws and snap the cover off to get to the main board. Then plug it in, because we need to power it up. Now we need to locate the positive and negative lines, actually the specific colors coming off the USB cable, and using a multimeter, it should register close to 5 volts. Make note of those connections, and now it's time to build the circuit. The schematic for this is available in the PDF for this project. The first thing we'll do is add the transistor, and then make our connections for that. Solder in the 1K resistor. And then after taking a closer look at the potentiometer I had, it was really the wrong value for this project. So there's an alternative where you can use two diodes in place of the potentiometer, and that's what I'm going to do. Then it's time to make the solder connections to our little pager motor, including a little diode that goes across the contacts. And now it's time to dig a little bit deeper in that mouse, so remove any other screws because we need to get to where the left mouse button is, because we need to find the contacts there and solder a wire to the floating pin on that contact. All the main components were in place, so it was time to make this perf board a little bit smaller, so using my Dremel, I cut it up to a nice small size. One more connection on the board, and then the two connections that go to positive and negative on the USB cable. After finding a little spot for the circuit board, it was time to tuck in all the wires and wrap this project up. The final step is to get our pager motor in place. So there was a nice open area in the back of the mouse, so I used some hot glue to mount the pager motor back there, and then put the mouse all back together again. Headshot. Headshot. Well, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but every time I press the left mouse button using my sniper rifle, the mouse rumbles, which is what it's supposed to do, playing this old game Chrome, which is a classic. So now there's a couple of things you could do in this project to uh, enhance it just a little bit. You could install a small switch in the circuit on the mouse so you could turn on and off the rumble effect. So if you're not playing a game, it's not going to rumble every time you're using the left mouse button. You can also install an LED that lights up every time you press the left mouse button. So there's a couple of different things you can do with the rumble mouse. It's kind of fun, and it's a great weekend project, so why not give it a try? I'm Kip K, and we'll see you next time with another weekend project.